Hello everybody and welcome back to another modded character showcase. We are going to be jumping in and checking out the rogue. This is part of a mod called, I believe it's Bygone Characters. Um, yeah, the Bygone Characters. This is actually part of a mod jam that was done um, over the last month, I believe. There's quite a few custom characters that came out of it and I'm going to try all of them, I think. I'm going to give them all a showcase. I think these modded character showcases are a lot of fun just to demonstrate what's of the characters do for you guys but also to kind of vet them for my series too of course um the series that i have i do get custom thumbnails for so they do take a bit longer to integrate if they are a character we want to add but um it's definitely something that i like taking a look at so we have here um the bygone uh, version of kane the rogue which is basically this mod is going to be like a D, D version of each character and this guy starts with the sharp lock pick apparently um the way that this works is that he can steal powers from empowered enemies uh, it did say that he had stronger enemies so here we've got an enemy like this that had some sort of effect on them so i'm gonna guess this the kind of like champions um and we've stolen some effect here where we've got like a spider above our head um, and then we've got this guy that's got, like, a planet around him. Interesting. Okay, so... I'm not exactly sure how best to use this... Oh, God, that was a good hit. Uh, how, how best to use the sharp thing, but... This guy's got, like, growing planets around him. This is very interesting. So, it's more of a melee swing than anything else. Uh, there we gained the power. And... Some of the powers, it's going to be a little hard to tell what they do. Others, it's probably going to be a bit more obvious. Like, this one's just straight up fear. Uh, it looks like I'm going to die straight away, which is great. But this this one, we've gained um, an aura of fear, which is actually really nice for these enemies. Oh, God, I'm getting hit so much. I need to be careful. I need to be careful, otherwise I'm going to die. That would not be good this early on into a, into a showcase. But this guy seems very, very interesting, in my opinion. Um... The ability to steal powers from other enemies, but also, on the other hand, you've got the, the flip side of it. I can't believe I got hit there again. These enemies. Oh, God. Um, the flip side of it is you are having to deal with worse enemies. Okay, we've died straight away here. That is a very good start and a really good showcase of my skill in this game. Uh, but we're just going to carry on anyways. It was a really, really early death. Um... Starting with two hearts does it make it a little harder. But also, I'm very much trying as hard as I can to... Like, oh my god, I'm playing, like, hot balls right now. Anyways, I'm trying my hardest to, like, steal the powers whenever I can, which is definitely getting me a bit closer to the enemies than I'd maybe like. But it's kind of interesting. A tears up definitely helps here. It seems like there's a guarantee of one power per room. Okay, so we dropped a web on the floor there. Unfortunately, I feel like that effect is not very useful on a room with flying enemies, but could be good otherwise. Um... And then here we've got, uh, oh, really, really great uh, grab here. Grants a random worm effect. Hazard. So we can just get multiple random worm effects. I suppose when they stack like that, as long as you don't get a Robberos worm, it's not actually that bad. So we've got electric here. Ooh, okay. That one's a cool one. I don't, I'm not quite sure what happened with the fire there. The fire kind of exploded and AoE'd me. I wonder if there's any way to, like, permanently gain some of these powers. This one looks like some sort of brimstone thing. Okay, now this one is just random tears sh shooting out of us. I, I am curious to see exactly how many of these potential powers there are to steal, because we've been seeing basically a new one every room so far. We've seen quite a few already. Um, I'm wondering just how many, like, how, how big of a suite we have of them. Unfortunately, I missed with that enemy. Uh, this guy looks like he's got some sort of cannon on him. Okay, he's got a retaliation mode, I think that is. Oh, no, no, it's just like a charge-up shot. Okay, this is a maze of shots that I do not want to get involved with. Getting spectral is actually really nice off of the worm trinkets here, so that's not bad. And then we can use another one. We get the shot speed down. I do wonder if it affects the bosses. I'm curious. Okay, so doing that against the bosses just... Just dealt a little bit of damage and nothing more. Oh, wait, no. The the enemy here did gain an effect. Okay, I just didn't wait long enough. Um, I didn't realize it'd be a timed thing. There's a very good chance I do die here, by the way. Apparently, if I touch those, 
It creates shots. Okay, and this guy's gaining multiple powers. That's really interesting. And he's gained this one twice now. Okay, this is really interesting. I did not expect the boss to work in that way. Uh, and that's really, really cool. That's really, really cool. The fact that the longer you fight a boss, the harder it's going to get. But I imagine the longer you hold off using your sharp... Um... Okay, that was really bad. The longer you hold off using your sharp rock... Sharp, sharp lockpick. Why did I say rock? Sharp lockpick. The uh, the more powers you can potentially steal. I wonder if they do stack. Oh, balls. What, what even hit me then? Oh, there's an invisible enemy down there. Oh, God. This guy's doing his own thing. So, I am wondering if... Um... I am wondering if there's a way we can get sharp lockpick to be active every single time. Like, if we get, like, um, triple A battery, can we just use it permanently? We'll take the random one here. Unfortunately, it was mystery egg. Um, we'll take whatever that is. So that's some sort of invincibility of some, type, of some kind. Okay, we are pushing you all up into that. Okay, we don't have an enemy with a, with a power in this room. This is the first room we've seen without any powers. But yeah, this is a really interesting idea. It's I, I kind of like these characters where it's not anything super far out, and it's not like it's not like super, super different than how you'd normally play. Okay, we do have one enemy with a power somewhere. Okay, I see him, I see him. Um it's not like super different than how you'd normally play, but it does add quite a lot because it kind of it kind of adds like a little mini game into every run with this character. It's, it's kind of like you've got like a secondary objective that you're always thinking about. By the way, I am going to get hit in this room. I'm so stuck right now. Okay. Where's, where's the other dude? Why, why is the one that's got the power never near me? Okay, there he is. Give me that power. It's mine now. I don't know how useful this power is. Well, this dude stood directly on top of this thing, so I'm guessing now I want to be collecting them myself to, like, hit the enemies. Seems to be the best way forward. Okay, so we've got some that are smiley faced and some that aren't. I'm guessing the smiley faced ones are earned by me. So, this time around, okay, for one, we, uh, we got a kind of a hard boss here. But, this time around, let's, um, be patient. And I'm going to wait for him to have at least two abilities. And then... Oh, gosh. I'm getting hit. I'm going to wait for him to have at least two abilities. He currently has one. And I'm going to get in there and try and steal them both. And see if that works. I'm intrigued. Okay, he's got two now. And we did get both. Okay. So, there the really is an aspect of gambling with, uh, with certain bosses where it's kind of going to be... Do you want to go without power and then get a, a, like a big jump in power later on. Either way, I think this works really well. I have to say, so far, I haven't had any abilities that have been crazy impactful yet, I don't think. I think they've, they've all been fairly mediocre in their power, but I feel like because you can get one every single room, that kind of makes sense. It makes sense that they're not, like, really powerful. Oh, we got two then. Okay. So, this time, I'm not sure if that was a single enemy that had two powers or if there was two enemies that were close to one another. But what that might be is that because we've progressed later into the run, there is more available. Potentially, as you go down the floors, as the game gets harder, more powers become available to you. Okay, this is a Dominic here. I see you. Don't think you can be so cheeky with me. Um, that's a bunch of sticky nickels, but unfortunately this... Yeah, I... Oh, also I completely... I always forget that these rooms just trap... Oh, for God's sake, it stole my fool card. I completely forgot that it was going to do that. Bugger. Yeah, these rooms don't have doors anymore for some reason. Um, it, it just kind of is what it is, I guess. Um... I'm not quite sure why that is. Um, I'm hoping it gets an update relatively soon. I need to make the dev more aware of that, maybe. Okay, that's a new a new power. Um, some sort of fire. Yeah, there you go. So we're going to leave some fires about. But yeah, I'm curious to see how this progresses. Because it seems, it seems like this could be a really fun gimmick. And it seems like this would actually be something that um, could be really good as an item on its own. So, for, for example, if you... Um, 
if you have unlocks for these characters eventually, having the sharp lockpick as a item that you can find in other runs, and even maybe um, having these effects that these enemies can have as kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, but like a weaker version of a champion. So like, you've still got the normal champions that we have in the game now, but you also have these versions of the champions, like light champions, where it's just these smaller effects that don't do quite as much. Um, it'd be cool to have them as, as like new types of enemies to see, new champions to see. Cause that's always fun. Um, oh, apparently there's a way to like bug these rooms out. I need to try it out. There's a way. Oh, this is a really, really rough room for us. I'm gonna get hit here, aren't I? Just a very thin hallway. I'm having a, a, a large amount of trouble. Actually, yep. Not getting hit by these guys. And eventually I did get hit by them. Get out of here. Oh! Excuse me, that purple fire. That purple fire was rather rude because it was from. It was from an uh, enemy that I produced via the egg. So I, I, I have to say I don't really agree with the fact that that uh, that went for me. It should have been going for the enemies, but here we are. Honestly, the ability to use the worm thing to get spectral when we need it is really, really nice. Yeah, again, look, there's two enemies here that have um, that have the effects. You have to be a little careful. These guys have kind of a barrier to them. Good, good. We made it through. This this power's like... I don't know. I don't really also know what to think of this one. Ooh, that guy's got the electric on him. So, it's basically like, do we want to... Oh my god. Do we want to choose which power we want? Or do we want to try and gamble and get multiple powers at once? I always forget how bloody horrible these stupid dashing boys are. I definitely want to get more uses of um, of our ability here. That would be just really, really nice. We'll try and make our way to our shop as well. Not doing great health-wise, I'll be honest. But I think when we're experimenting like this, when we're trying to figure things out, it's kind of fine. Because uh, we're going to be getting up close and trying to steal the powers and stuff. And it's it's going to lead to some, some problems. But yeah, just, just something I want to check out real quick. So, this is... We've got the blue key thing here. Apparently, you can just do this. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. We also got the placebo pill here, which I'm gonna buy along with this and just hope for the best. Great. <laughs> we got a, a goddamn, um... Giant I found pills. I was like, ooh, this is such a good little deal here. We can get a doubled amazing pill, potentially. It's like, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, you can't. <laughs> you can get a double nothing. And I realized we just lose that lo lost our worm trinket there. A worm trinket thingy. But honestly, I am potentially more interested in what placebo could, could offer us. I know this guy's going to be an absolute pain in the ass. I'm kind of ready for that. Right, let's just take care of him. I'm waiting for the second power before I use my sharp lockpick. Okay. Um, don't quite know what happened there, but it seemed that the invincibility thing spread damage among his segments and basically he just killed himself, which is fine by me. Oh, unfortunately, we got these buggers as well. Let's take some fire from you. It's also nice that the lockpick does a, like a half decent amount of damage as well. By the way, and if any of you are wondering, we aren't ever getting a devil deal on this run. Because for some strange reason, I am incapable of playing this game correctly at the moment. Bear in mind, I literally play this game every single day of my life. But still... Something befalls me, and it breaks my brain. I'm not quite sure what the uh, what the the armor one does. I'm guessing it blocks a shot if we're if we're glowing white. I'm guessing that it's like a timed block sort of thing. I'm not going to experiment to find that out. 
Nice. And this one's just firing extra shots for us, which is actually rather nice. Seems to charge up pretty quick as well. That's probably one of the better ones we've had so far. This one's also really good, just because it's it's interesting. But yeah, we can go boop, open that up. No blue room for me. <laughs> Didn't cost us a key. Ooh, very good item here. We got Pinhead. We also got a donation machine there. Yeah, Pinhead here is fantastic. It gives us partial piercing. Some of our shots will pierce. Along with the fact that um, we got the spread damage pins, which... Honestly, on their own, are just okay, but against multi-segment bosses, they absolutely wreck things up. It's amazing. There you go. Oh, uh, it does- this- this one does seem to be like a retaliation thing, because when I was hitting that guy, he was spreading out just an insane amount of shots. Also, it seems that our lasers are able to, um, attach the pinhead shot, so maybe that laser adopts our effect, which is pretty cool. Oh my god, having a really hard time killing this enemy. I, I accidentally walked through that one. It, this is fine, we didn't get a hard room here. Cool. But it's nice that you can abuse these rooms like that. Um, Drummer is very good. We are on the lookout currently for more pills as well. The spiderweb one, honestly, ain't that great. Spiderweb one isn't isn't amazing. This one I want just because I think, like I said, it's some sort of timed invincibility. Kind of like, um... Tooth and Nail, is it called? I feel like it'd be similar to that, based on how it looks. Yeah, that's exactly what it did there. Do you see that? It completely blocked a shot. That was really nice. Okay, I didn't expect that there'd be much market for stealing uh, abilities from Grimaces, but I guess might as well. Good. Don't really need keys for anything at the moment, but I'm taking them anyways. Ah, oh, bugger. I tried to get the artillery one. Just completely failed to grab it and actually got hit. Not seen a, a whole lot of soul hearts this run. You can stop firing at me, please. It does seem that these guys do have a little bit more health when they've got the abilities, too. And we got this guy. Okay. Thank you for picking up and taking away whatever enemy that was. We got fire here, which isn't super useful for us. I think it is better to wait with bosses if you can. Ah, oh, I missed! No! That was such a bad miss. It's alright, we've got him. Needs to be a little more careful, though. That was a really silly miss for me, to be honest. Okay, there you go. Nice. we got Smooth Rock there, which is kind of good. Smooth Stone, whatever you want to call it. I will take Pentagram here, despite it being potentially a bad idea. Um, I just want more damage. But yeah, I really respect characters like this, where it's something that's actually a, a really sort of basic idea. It doesn't, sh it doesn't like stray too far away from like what other characters are already doing. It's not a super gimmicky character, but it's just kind of like vanilla plus, so to say. And I like that. I, I think that's good. I think too often. Uh, custom characters get bogged down in um, in the gimmick, which isn't a bad thing. There is it like it is fun having gimmicky characters like um, Andromeda and such. It's, th those characters are a lot of fun, no doubt about that. Um, but I think too often the gimmick can overtake the fun. If you know what I mean, where people are focusing so much on the gimmick that the character has that they're not really focusing on how balanced they are, or how fun they are. And I, I've definitely seen a few characters that have that issue. Um, not a lot, mind you. It's not tons. But there's, there's, there's definitely a few out there. Oh, I went through the room again. Idiota.
That was just some fucking horse shit right there. How was I meant to dodge that? Stigmata's lovely here. Gives us our, um, our health back and some damage to go along with it. Very, very nice. So this time, open the door. Don't go through it, you idiot. I did it again. How am I this bad at living? Did we just get two tiers up there? We did. Wow. That is very nice. Oh, look, another I found pills. Great. Thanks, game. Oh, my lord. I tried. I tried to steal the ability. And I just kind of missed. Just kind of missed. This one I want. Gimme. There you go. I think basically what what's going to be the case um, with this character generally is going to be um, assessing what is the most important ability to steal and assessing how easy it is to steal. So I don't think I'll steal stuff every single room. Um, I think as there becomes more and more things to steal, like with this room having three enemies that have abilities, um, it's going to be easier and easier to steal stuff. But like... I feel like it's part of just assessing what is actually valuable. Like, honestly, that web that web one that we just saw there, I don't think there's going to be many situations where I care to grab that, because I don't think it's that useful. But the uh, invincibility ones, the ones that can aid our damage output, them ones can be pretty useful. Like, honestly, electricity, I'm not even going to wait here. I'm just going to steal that. Because for one, it takes the ability away from him. For two, it gives the ability to us. And there you go. Helped us kill him, so pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah, I think that's going to be the case oftentimes, where it's it's kind of more of an assessment of what's easy to steal. Like, that one there, although the webbing I don't really care about. Um, oh, I got hit so much in this room. Wow. Uh, although the webbing I don't really care about, it was a really easy one to steal, so why the hell not? This is a, this is a hard one to steal. Just go go in for the kill. This one is an easy one to steal, and it's a decently good one, because I think it does damage. I don't actually know if that orb deals damage, or if it's just for blocking shots. This one is not one that's easy to steal, and it's also not really one that's worth stealing. Oh, God. I'll be honest, I didn't really know how that enemy worked, and I got hit pretty easily there. We need to be very careful. We are only on one heart now. This is a tricky room. Had to be one of you, didn't it? We do have a strength card if we if we find ourselves in a time of panic. It is interesting that enemies that can't be killed can also have powers. The electricity on that dude is scaring the shit out of me, I'll be honest. There's so many more enemies. Okay, I need to get back there. Damn, I was really hoping for a heart there. The electricity on that dude, he never ended up firing it, because I think it only triggers when you fire, so we got a bit lucky there, but I was still shitting myself a little bit. Okay. Unsure what we're dealing with here. Okay, this is a kind of rough room. I don't think we need to steal an ability in this room. Just stay the hell away from the... Um... Oh, God, I'm dead. Oh, no, no, no. I, I managed to survive. That, like, the, the bouncy dude, whatever you want to call him, the jumper guy, he has a really crazy radius, and he's kind of hard to avoid. Definitely one I want to steal. Still kind of baffled about the just... No healthness of it all. I'm hoping one of these poops gives me a half heart at some point. This guy's going to be a little tricky. It's okay, we got him. Right. One of you poops needs to give me a half heart. Real bad.
Right, steal a look in there. I know it's a lot of effort, but those rooms can really, really be quite bad for me, so I'd rather do the little trick to get in there for free. Eh, slippery tooth ain't bad. Okay, another kind of hard room here. A potentially hard enemy too. I would like to steal his ability, but he leaves creep when he lands. Okay, we got it, we got it. Just taking the ability off him is more important than actually getting the ability for myself. Oh, that was close. Okay, I actually... The ability there saved my life, so maybe it was worth it. I took damage and it blocked it. Ah, there was an easy one. Wow, still no HP. Accidentally dropped a bomb by accident there. I don't know really how I managed that. This is a strength card room. I need the extra HP just in case, because... These dudes throw their heads at you, and if they hit rocks, it can really make things quite difficult. Damn it. I missed on that one. Okay. I could do the boss, but I think that's a bad idea. I think I need HP first. Wow, <laughs> just no HP at all. Just none. I mean, the strength card did actually heal us, which I didn't know was the case. I didn't realize that the strength card um, would let you keep the heart that it gave you. Obviously not the heart container, but I didn't know it could like, keep the heart either. But Um... Let's buy a pill and see if we've got something going on yet. Wow. <laughs> this game hates me right now. This is just not going well. Not going my way at all. I'm excited is going to be a little bit problematic for us. But yeah, we'll see what ability he gets first and we'll see if we want to steal it. It is mum. I didn't think it was mum yet, but it is. Um, that could create some issues. We'll see. Okay, so you got artillery on you so far. Artillery's a pretty good one because, um... Ooh, you've also got invincibility down there. Um, different segments have different abilities, I'm seeing. Okay, I got the invincibility. Um, we'll see how effective that ends up being. Okay, Mum has a lot of abilities. Also, I'm excited. Makes this, um... Slightly, yeah, horrific. Okay, we did unfortunately uh, perish there. <laughs> A slightly shorter showcase, I know, but um, I, think this is, I think this was still a really good look at the character. Um, just, unfortunately, not a very good run as the character. But um, as far as the character goes, I really like the idea, and the bygone characters in general is an interesting concept, taking the D&D &D versions of each character and sort of adding them. Um, what I would say with this character as a suggestion for the developers is, for one, I would like to see the versions of these champion effects implemented into regular enemies or as a separate mod, because I think it could be cool to just come across those in regular runs as, like, alt versions of champions that were pretty interesting. Um, maybe there'd be, need to be some balance tweaks around that, but I think that could be pretty fun. I would maybe give the character one more thing to make them a bit more unique. Um, I feel like the... The, the, the ability to steal powers is pretty interesting. The problem with it, in my opinion, is because it only lasts room to room, and when you aren't able to steal a power, it means there's nothing unique. What I'd maybe say is, um, have, have maybe the ability to, like, permanently gain one of the abilities after doing something. Um, I'm not quite sure what that would be. Maybe, maybe leaving the floor with a certain ability. Or maybe have it grabbing a certain ability a certain number of times, and you can permanently gain it. Now that might be that might be a bit too strong in certain regards, but um, and also to be honest, I'd have to look more into the D and D rogue to maybe understand the reference and understand how what else could be done. But I'd say maybe add like one more unique thing onto the character. But considering this was a game jam character made in quite a short amount of time, very very good um, and very interesting. I hope you guys did enjoy this look, and I'll see you guys in the next one.